Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Um, this one is Natural Flare. It's my favorite, one of my favorite looks that I do. Um, I hunted all over the place for Natural Flare. Where is it? And I'm hunting for it now, so. Got it. <laughs> I hunted all over the place for the Natural uh, Flare Mineralized Quad from MAC. I ended up getting it off eBay. I bought it from like um, some other country, British Pounds, wherever that is, yeah. So I bought it from there because I couldn't find it anywhere else. I bought it from someone and uh, I bought it for someone. And then I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I want it. So anyway, if you want this, you're going to have to really, really, really search for it if you don't already have it. But anyway, it's a really kind of earth tony with kind of like a pop because of the orange. Y'all know I love orange. It's one of my favorite, favorite looks to do. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And yeah, so stay tuned if you want some natural flair. It's coming. All right. So, um, you're gonna start with, of course, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I took mine out of the little thing, but any kind of primer will work. Elf, LA Splash, whatever. But put that all over the lid, all the way up to the problem. Okay. Now for the base, I'm going to use um, my favorite one that I use all the time, the Elf Butternut. Butter Pecan, JK I lied. Uh, the dark side. Just on the lid though. Because the uh, the color I'm using is not very, doesn't stick very well if there's nothing there. So this is a super sticky base. And the light side. Just under the brow bone. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now for my base, I'm going to use Goldenrod by MAC. It's just a really matte, yellowy, orange color. It looks more orange in the computer than it actually is. It's, it's like a marigold. It's like a goldenrod color. But anyway, I'm using my flat brush. This is actually an e.l.f. brush. It's actually one of my favorite brushes, and it's like $3. But anyway, pack that all on the lid. You really want to concentrate the color on the lid. Ow. You really want to concentrate the color on the lid first and then start just bringing it up. When you start bringing it up, don't add any more color to it, but just bring it all the way up. Okay? Okay. Now you're going to take your Natural Flare Quad by MAC. Looks like this. <laughs> Looks like this. You're going to take the lightest side this little shimmery. No, I lied. You're going to take your NYX first. This is NYX in nude, but any matte highlight will work. And you're just going to ever so sloppily put it under your brow bone. You just really want to get it there for now. It doesn't have to be neat by any means, as you can tell, because I'm just putting it there. But anyway, then take the same little brush. Take this side, the lightest color and pop that in the inner corner. And you kinda wanna go a little above the crease, like that. Now I'm gonna take a, just a flat brush and go in with this gorgeous orange color. Y'all know this is like my favorite color of the whole thing. Can y'all see that? Wait, admire the orange for a second. Yeah, that's hot. Anyway, really dig that in and pack that on the rest of the lid. And take it above the crease as well. You want to concentrate most of it on the crease, but you want to take a little bit above the crease. Okay? And, of course, blend the two together. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and my favorite blending ever. This is chocolate, that Sally Girl chocolate. See, it's Oh, Ben hit pan. Tragedy. But anyway, take it and arch your eyebrows. Raise them so you can really get in that space in between those two colors. So you can really, really blend those out. But you would want to use whatever blending medium you use that's closest to your skin tone. So, I mean, if you wanted to stop here, this is still a really good look. It's really kind of neutrally, daytime wearable, whatever. But, of course, we're not going to stop here. 
So, got that blended out. Now I'm going to take a brush like this and the darkest side of that MAC Natural Flare. Really, really dig it in there. Arch your eyebrows again. Look down a little. I mean, this is just how I do it. It's easiest to get to the part I need to get to and just kind of like really, just really focus it on the outside. See how it just kind of looks like a little, you want to start it small. See? Kind of bring it down a little bit. Then after you've got most of that color concentrated on the outside right there, that's when you want to start blending it out. You don't want to touch the, the highlight yet. We're going to bring that together in a second and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Like so. See? Then you just kind of bring it in a little bit in the crease. You don't want to bring a whole lot of darkness in that crease, but because you want to still have the orange and the shimmery color on the lid. Okay. Now for the highlight, we are going to use this side. And you just really want to gently press it because you don't want a whole lot. Uh-oh. Right into the brow. Okay. And now you're going to use this color, which is really, really pretty by itself. Oh, it's so pretty on the lid by itself. But that's another tutorial. Take it and mesh it right in between the two. Okay. Keep blending. Keep blending. All right. Then I'm going to line my lid, do my waterline, fix my eyebrow, and I will be right back. All right, so here is the finished look. Yep, I added a pop of that light color in the inner corner just for a little pop, but sorry. I already have my favorite blush on, the one that I wear pretty much every day, this one. But I'm going to go ahead and add a new favorite blush that I have. This is called Copper by NYX, and with these eyes, it looks amazing. I know y'all can't see it, but I'm going to try and put a picture so y'all can. On my lips, I actually have some lip shimmer by um, Coco Cafe. No, by Zoe and Zach. And this, it looks like this. It's really just kind of like a lip, a tinted lip balm. I got it from Payless for like $4. I just tried it out. It's pretty good. And on top, I have my NYX. Uh, what is this called? Anyway, it's a really frosty nude color. Brown um, topaz. So, that's it. That's pretty much the finished look. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you picked up a little natural flair.